Okay. In our new video, uh, or our new assignment, we want to create a uh, airbrush slash makeup effect on this model's face. So the reason why we're doing this is to show you the different tools that Photoshop has. And, and this is one of the biggest things that Photoshop is used for, is to, uh, to touch up images. So we want to show you how to recolor things and how to apply layer effects and layer masks and, 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 and get everything so that it makes it look as real as possible. Um, so the first thing you want to do when you open this, this image up is we're going to go to our layers panel. We're going to right click and we're going to duplicate this layer. That way we're not destroying the image. This is going to be uh, all about creating uh, images that we don't destroy the original. So that's very important in our curriculum is not destroying our image, okay? So in our background copy, what we want to do is the first thing, we're going to come up here and we're going to find our uh, spot healing brush. So spot healing brush is the Band-Aid. And what it does is it takes information around the brush and translates that into uh, how the program thinks that this this should work. So watch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm making sure that I'm on my background copy layer, and I'm going to click with my spot healing brush right here on this freckle. So you'll see that it clears it up. Now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with freckles. I'm just showing you how this tool is used to kind of take the information in an image and use it to kind of clear anything up. So if you had a really great picture that had, you know, just a piece of, uh, like you were out in a park and then all of a sudden you noticed that there was a piece of paper blowing off of the ground or something, uh, you could use the spot healing brush to kind of uh, clean up your image, stuff like that. So all you want to do and this is just for the assignment, is go through and take out as many freckles as possible. Uh, so at the end of this, your image will look like this compared to the original, which looked like this. So all we did was just take out these freckles. Uh, nothing too hard. All right. Once you're done with that, uh, you want to make sure that you're doing everything the right way. Uh, so we're going to create a new layer. New layer is down here at the bottom. So I create, click and create a new layer. I'm going to rename this layer as lipstick. All right. And then what I want to do is I want to use my magnetic lasso tool. We're going to zoom in here. And we're going to go through and we're going to lay, just kind of line out the lips. So we can select the lips. You'll notice that it, even though this isn't layer selected, it's still going over these pixels because they're visible pixels. And you just want to kind of get a selection that looks like this. Okay. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky because you've also got the teeth in here. And don't worry about that. That's fine. What we want to do is we want to make it look like she's wearing lipstick. So take your paintbrush tool or your brush tool here. And let's just go with some off the wall color. We'll go blue. Okay, so all you're gonna do here is you're gonna let me make sure I'm using the right brush here. Opacity needs to be up at 100. I was doing a project earlier where I changed that. Okay, so we're just gonna line the lips with as much blue as possible. Now the reason why we selected is so that I can't color outside. So right here I'm clicking, you can see I'm clicking, I can't color outside. I'm just, I can only color what's inside the selection. The lips are very hard because we have the teeth, but we can use the eraser tool to kind of clean up whatever we get, all, get on the teeth. So there, we've got our lips colored blue. Now that looks very terrible because it's just a flat blue against her, against an otherwise not flat image. So what we have to do is we have to come into our blending mode. All right, and these are all your blending modes. So you've got dissolve, which makes it very pixelated. Uh, you've got darken, which kind of darkens it around, multiply, 
uh, which changes it. So what, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find that piece that really makes it look as if it's laying over her lips. Uh, so play around with a couple. I'm going to use overlay, and I'm going to turn my opacity down to about 80%. And then what I'm going to do is use the eraser tool. I'm going to get real small with it. And I want to come in just like this and just erase the parts that I don't want right on the top of her teeth uh, and things like that. Because you don't put makeup or you don't put uh, lipstick on your teeth. All right. So now we've added lipstick to uh, this model's face. One thing you can do that will help you out is you see how there's a very hard edge where our selection was. If you come in with the eraser tool and you really click up here, make sure that your hardness is all the way off and then you can take your opacity down so it's not going to be as hard on the uh, outline as it would be. And you can just take and brush right up against that edge and really soften it up because lipstick doesn't have a very hard edge. It's just right on the lips. So all I'm doing is with the eraser tool, I'm just softening up that edge so it looks a little bit more natural because you don't want to have a very harsh edge. All right, so then when you zoom out, that's way too far. When you zoom out, it looks way more natural than it would have. Uh, there's a blue tint to it, so you'll notice that it's very bluish. Uh, but because we're using a blend mode that's overlay, you can see right here, it's going to have most of the color from underneath this layer pop through. So what we do here with the blending mode is it takes the information from the layers below it and combines it with the layer that you have. So all of these different options are different ways to combine the colors in the layers. So the next thing you want to do is you want to come in and we're going to edit her eye color. Okay, so again, we're going to use the magnetic lasso. We're going to make sure that we make a new layer over the top. So we're going to call this eye color. And we're just going to come right here and we're going to grab her eye. And we go in a little bit too far, so I'm going to do a control Z that. So make sure that we're trying to get as little of that eyelash as possible. And you might have to go to your lasso tool, just your straight lasso tool, and do this by hand without the magnet's help. Okay. So if you want to do two at a time, you hold down shift to do the second one. Uh, now what you can do is use your brush tool again, and we're going to, let's change her eye color to green. So we're just going to slap green on top of this. Okay. And we're going to go to multiply, see how that looks. Maybe bring the opacity down a hair. All right. And then again, with your eraser tool, you can just, you can just come in and, oh, wow, you can come in and hit that edge a little bit just to soften up that outside edge. Not really to give away the color underneath, just to soften that outside edge. So now you see we changed our eye color. Uh, you can turn the opacity down more to make it a little bit more natural if you want to. Um, but that's pretty good. The next thing you want to do is you want to come in and make a new layer. We're going to call this hair. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to select her hair. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. Make sure that you got a pretty steady hand with your mouse. And you just want to make sure we're grabbing just her hair. Try not to get her face in there too much. This one strand is always tricky. Okay, so then you can take your brush tool again, just like this. <coughs> now we want to give her uh, brownish hair, so we got to find a kind of brownish spot to really go after here. So here's a good brown color right here. 
Ooh. So I need to, I selected the wrong thing. So what I need to do is come up to the select menu and click inverse. So that's going to select the opposite side. So then I can just color all of this in really quickly. All right. And then I'm going to use multiply because usually that does a pretty good job. You might try lighten or soft light is a good one to change the hair color. Uh, hard light will give you a little bit more orangish. Vivid light is going to be even more orangish. Um, but generally, I do like the way that multiply looks because it gives a very brunette brown, light brown color to it. Uh, and then you can take your opacity and you can bring it down a hair. And just like that, we're going to use our eraser tool again because, look, this is a very harsh edge right here. And you don't want to have that harsh edge. You want it to just kind of blend. So the more you do with a very light stroke, you see my opacity is at 12%, so the strokes aren't really showing up that hard. The more you do with that small opacity, and you can see it's kind of blending out here. Uh, but the more you do with that, the, the, the easier this blend is going to be and the closer to a natural look you're going to get. So, again, don't worry if yours is not what you would consider to be perfect. I'm not going for a perfection look right here. I'm just going to see if you can know how to use these blend options. And so if you look, I'm just coming through and blending. I'm going to leave this strand of blonde hair out. You know, I'm not even going to worry with it because that's going to take a lot more time than I will want you to put in. Now, if you want to do that, go for it. Feel free. Uh, I'll give you extra credit if you go and go above and beyond. But uh, but that's it. That's that's all you got. So we've changed our hair color. Our eye color and added lipstick. So if you look, this is the original versus the new. Okay, so you want to export that. Make sure you turn it in. Way to go today, guys. This was a great assignment. Good job.